Hello everyone. I am here to talk about my latest book, 80 a Scientist, and probably the best way to do that is to read an excerpt. So, without further ado, here is Adia talking about her experiment and what happens. Two waves set my progs in motion, loaded the containment fields into the irradiation chamber, flooded it with my 583rd combination of radiance. Suddenly the chamber sparked. Seams glowed blue. Blue-purple flashes illuminated the lab. Gasps from my co-workers. Smoke burned my nose. Sits a wave for a cleaner sim. The irradiation chamber shuddered, clanked on the counter. A chain reaction began. Prog 1, open dim portal. Swirling green appeared behind it. I waved a calc screen, shouted coordinates from a list. The first glowed red, the second green, red, 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 too slow. Progs run. Location 2. Pulled the dim portal over the chamber, flung it through the ceiling. I used my hands. Instead of speaking the coordinates my holographic grid indicated, I used my hands. A perilous habit. Tracking. A holo followed it into the sky. It exploded in blue and purple over the barrens where I met. We are safe. If I had spoken more of them, it would have gone off here. I did not trust progs to contain such a powerful reaction here. That was extremely dangerous. With a step towards me, Ossie stared at burns on the melted sand counter, black streaks against white Einan. What if you missed the barons and hit Clydoy? The tracking prog shows it ported there in the middle of the barrens. I pointed to the prog one holo. I can standard emergency prog and made sure he saw. Coordinates that I carefully put in order with the most remote first. My hand shook so I pulled it down. Two weeks work. Gone. Progs ran to check for people, ships, portals, or important work. Commands to contain any reaction with a certain density, height, strength. Progs to alert anyone in the barrens. Progs to choose alternate locations. The most essential ones ran first and called 50 others. I wrote my emergency protocols carefully so that if I panicked and used my hands, no one but myself would be hurt. But if my prog had run properly, I would be vaporized on the barrens with my experiment. I gasped, but my mouth just opened. Vaughn checked my display and nodded. A prog ran to verify the health of every scientist, every citizen in our colony. One holo glowed red. Mine? Felt the faint tingle of radiation burns through a 1,000 times containment field. I, scared, I stared at my hand in disbelief, both hands, white with the charred dust left when A&W burns. My hands came into direct contact with part of the reaction. The acrid smell included the bitter smell of A&W. Vaughn waved hygiene on my hands and steered me to a chair by my quivering elbows. Be calm. I will get help. Sitsa frowned at me. How did that happen? It was not Adia's fault. The irradiation chamber failed. Her quick action saved us. Doree stood by Vaughn. His hand quivered on my shoulder. Leave us. Both of you have work. Tanda brought an ointment and smeared it over my trembling fingers. A holo showed what happened. Prog 1 records all incidents, takes holos from every person's angle and combines them into one. Director Praggett and security surely see it now. The holy clear, holo clearly showed my hands grow, going too far into the dim portal. If I had spoken all the chords and waited for verification, as procedures demanded, the explosion would have happened here, in the lab. A simulation predicted the 1,000 times field would not have contained it. 
flagged an error in the 1000X code, sent the SIM to safety. Safety section made an error? That is how my hand slipped into the portal? Age must have weakened the containment field generator. Info server, Vaughn said. Help ADA, medical databases. Info server malfunction. Database is not found. We stared at each other. That is not possible. Dries waved. Access medical databases. Database is not found. Tingling grew to pain. Close contact to an explosion was unheard of in the five years of the Icon Project's existence. Medical databases were requested very infrequently. Regen will save me, will it? Pain took my breath. Will I set off the ED? Sight faded. We need a healer. Is there one in the director's office? A healer? No, we do not employ them except in Iken Hospital. You must take an injured person there. I will not take my colleague in that place. Dereez slashed the holo off. My trade bell is not enough, my voice whispered. Vaughn held on to me. Dereez, try to contact Clydoy for a healer. I have trade, Adia. We must. He startled as my arms dropped. Footsteps. Sudden impact. I stared down at medium blue boots. Felt warmth at my wrists. With it, strength. Twin fingers held my wrists and swelling vanished from my hands. I reached for them as my eyes found his. Golden eyes opened impossibly wide. That round face smiled at me. Does my healing help you? Calm penetrated me. Heard the singing in my mind. Praget became ill after he introduced the giant. That singing I heard as he healed him. What did you do? Dereese gasped, touched my fingers. My red skin no, showed no sign of injury. Strength returned to my wilting body. Redness left and with it pain. Thank you. What to say? Heat crept into my face. Oh, my heart pounded even more. Surely an ED will alarm. Riona E. moved a hand to my shoulder, warmth. I sat upright in the chair. Is Giant healing? Vaughn smiled and let go of my shoulders, looked at our visitor. His orange skin paled as calm slowed my, slowed my breathing. More. Are you well? Other than losing two weeks of work, yes, I am well. I smiled, and so did he. Still expected the DF to come. Worked harder to control my breathing. Sleep pulled at my eyelids. Warmth from his hand stopped. The touch of his twin fingers, the nearness of him, does it show how he affects me? The two security men watched us. One came to Riona E. The other walked to Vaughn. Am I in trouble? And there's the excerpt that is shown on the cover of Adia Scientist. Please look at the link and I hope you will check it out. Thank you for being with me. This is Dennis Cole signing off. Bye.